Hi, this is Gary from uh, Texas on 8B. I'm going to take a quick walk through the tomato plants. I've been out uh, for a few days. I've been, and so this is tomatoes. I picked the last time I picked them was Wednesday. This is Friday afternoon, uh, Friday evening. Uh, this here is the sun gold here. It's got lots of tomatoes on it. It's doing good. It looks like it's getting a little bit of disease problems though. It will tend to do that. It'll make a lot, but when it gives, when it gets certain age, it tends to die on me from, at least from mine. But it's got a multitude of, of, of fruit on it. The next one's chocolate cherry. Uh, this is the way it looks. It is, it's, of all mine, it's probably my favorite taste ones. It, they do slowly change. There's some that's not quite right. I'll probably go ahead and pick them. Uh, this is the tropical sunset. It's a pretty little tomato. It's starting to produced got a little bit of disease down toward the bottom this is coyote and this thing has went crazy it's got tomatoes all over the place one thing about it uh, I've been in the hospital with my wife for the last 10 days and some of the nurses looked at the tomatoes and they had popped in their mouth so it tastes like candy it is a very sweet tomato very small tomato uh, it's considered a white tomato but uh, it does have a, a very It's a tomato taste, but also very sweet. No tartness at all. Next one is sun, sun, Sunrise Bumblebee. And that's one of the tomatoes here. Yeah, go ahead and pick it so you know what it looks like. These over here are the coyotes just went crazy on it. That's what these look like. This one over here is the, the blush. And it's the long one, looks more kind of uh, the same, they look like peppers. This one's split, but we did get three inches of rain, so that's kind of to be expected. It's got a few more back in there, it's making making okay. This is a big, oh, this is purple bumblebee, okay. Uh, that's not a good example of it. This is here starting to turn. Uh, there's one back in the back. But, that's not, this is aphid damage. Uh, it's not really the fault of the peppers. Just had a lot of aphids, hadn't had a chance to uh, stay after the aphids this year. This is uh, Mountain Vineyard. It makes a grape type tomato. It'll get a little bit redder than that. This is really a workhorse this year. This is a, the, uh, called blueberries. Uh, they start off black like this. Then when they start getting ready, they'll turn this kind of funky looking uh, color. Um, it was funny because when we was at the hospital, I picked a bunch of tomatoes, took them up to the nurses, and people kept mistaking them for uh, grapes because they couldn't figure out why. Of all different, you know, have all these different colored tomatoes and stuff, and uh, we was giving them out because they're gonna they're gonna go bad regardless. So you have to, you know, give them away or whatever. And the nurse had been through a lot, so I didn't mind give, giving them some stuff. This is a large cherry. It's not the large cherry though. Okay. Uh, this large cherry here, it's going to be one up over here. So it's going to be a little bit bigger tomato. Uh, it will turn redder than that. And it's just starting to make. I've uh, been a little bit slower than the other ones. This one here is a, a Napa Chardonnay. A lot of people like this. My wife really likes this tomato. It's a yellowish tomato and there's a stupid. And uh, it's a really nice, nice tasting one. And it's making good good also. All these are Napa Chardonnay. This is the next one of the uh, uh, Sun Gold. I've got two of the Sun Gold. And then this one is a new one. It's called uh, Champagne Bubbles. And it's, you know, it's got that same kind of same color that the other one has. Uh, I haven't really tasted these yet. They just started ripening well. The rest of these we're going to have a hard time going down I put them on four foot rows and that's really not wide enough so we'll come over this side and try to look we'll go down here the, the, that row this row here is the indeterminate row and then the row here is the determinate row I needed to put another uh, string up for the on the uh, for Florida weave just ain't had a chance to do that she's been out of town the solar flare that I talked about was there it got it looked like it was a uh, curly leaf virus we cut it out and threw it in a chicken, uh, chicken pen 
I left the meat on it. Uh, if you got one that's badly diseased, you look at it and sometimes you take it out so it won't spread. It doesn't look like it spread to the other uh, tomatoes, so that's good. Uh, here's some of the probably hostinators, they're really big tomatoes that's coming on. Got a bunch of them. There's some more over here. Uh, there's some of the, I think that's the, uh, yeah, that's going to be the Chef's, uh, Chef's Choice Black. It's really been a good producer. Okay. So it's got that look of the uh, uh, heirloom tomatoes. Yeah, it's Chef Black. So, and like I say, it's got several on it. So that's good. And we're going down here. Okay, don't step on it. I'm gonna step right here. Ah. Next one. Over here. This is Mount Merritt, huh? I didn't think it would look like this. There's a Mount Merritt, and it's getting bigger. It's just now starting to turn. You can pick them on this uh, at this size, keep bugs off of them, or keep them splitting. They'll go ahead and ripen up. Don't put them in the refrigerator; that kills the taste. But they don't. There's not much difference in the flavor if you pick them early like that. And down south, we have to pick stuff early sometimes because rain and everything else will cause problems and we get back over here I'm okay and uh, I think I know which one this is now this is Chef Orange and this was produced a lot of tomatoes also nice looking I know and we picked one at the hospital and everybody kept thinking it was a tang it was a uh, uh, persimmon other people were saying it was different things most people did not pick it think it was a and I haven't, we haven't tasted this one, we need to. Uh, it's one that we'll probably cut open to taste here pretty soon. Because this is almost ready. Probably got another day. And then coming back over here. This is the one that's uh, the other shift light. Like I say, it's got a big one here. And I just stepped on some nails. It's got big ones down in there. Up over there is another one. One's up here, another one up here. It's really been a workhorse. Just, uh, it's even got one up over, another one back up over here. So, you know, they're, they're all over the place. Uh, done really well. You know, it's one I'll plant again. Uh, still got to taste it though, but I'm sure it's going to taste well. And now we're going to go through these are different ones of the, uh, some of them's Invincible, some of them's uh, Shelby. And Tachi's also in here some. Most of them are, are, uh, are either Shelby or Invincible. I think these are Shelby's through here. Nice big fruits. And these are Shelby's here. They make a nice, of course this has got a worm in it. I did not get to spray the worms so I wanted to. So, uh, this one's not going to be any good. I will kill the worm here in a little bit. They do seem to hit, the worms seem to hit these worse. Uh, this here I believe is invincible. You know, that's a nice fruit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And actually these are all my paste tomatoes. So, uh, with that, If you'll turn around, I mean, I've also got the corn is starting to make and are starting to tassel out. Here's starting to come up, and that's the Hickory King. Uh, and it's probably 10 foot tall, 11 foot tall. Uh, anyway, you start making here pretty soon. Uh, garden's a little bit weedy. Like I said, I've been out for 10 days, 11 days, I guess, counting the day. And uh, so things kind of get a little crazy. Gardens don't slow down for you, even though you have some, some medical emergencies or whatever, they still produce. Uh, we'll start with the, uh, on the can and the paste tomatoes, you can always put them in the freezer, put them in the freezer, they'll freeze. When you thaw them out, they'll bust, the skins will bust on them and get the skins off easy. So that's the way we're gonna be doing it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll probably put some more videos of other parts of the garden. Thank you.